learn how to ask for and give the date. What is the date today? February 5th. Thank you. You will learn how to ask for and give the addresses of places in the community. Miguel, what's the address of your school? Uh, 6436 21st Street. You will learn how to take a phone message. Hello, Main Street Cafe, may I help you? Hi, is Miguel there? No, he's not here right now. May I take a message? And now let's watch Jane and Miguel and the other students before they go to English class. Hi, Jane. Hello, Miguel. I called. I'm sorry. The phone at my job broke. We have class. Jane, I want to see you. To study English. Yes? Yes. I want to see you to study English. Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we study at the Main Street Cafe. What is tomorrow at the Main Street Cafe? We study. Good, I need to study. Me too. Me three. Me four. <laughs> yes, everyone. Tomorrow the students are studying at the Main Street Cafe. But now they're going to English class. Let's watch and see what they learn. Good evening, class. Good evening. Good evening. Today is Thursday, February 5th. Let's look at the calendar together. This is one month. What month is it? February. Right, February. There are four weeks in February. There are seven days in a week. Is this a week or a day? Week. week. Right. This is one week. Is this a month or a day? Day. day. Yes, this is a day. What day is it? Thursday. Very good, Mrs. Park. Shagrash, come up and point to the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Very good work. So there are seven days in a week. How many months are there? Twelve. That's right. There are 12 months in a year. Let's take a moment to learn the months. Watch and listen. January. 
February March April May June July August September October November December Okay class, let's review. What month is it? February. What day is it? Thursday. Right. Jane, what's the date today? February 5th. That's good, Jane, but for the date, we say February 5th. 5th is an ordinal number. We use ordinal numbers for dates. February 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and so on. Let's practice ordinal numbers. This is March 1st. Tell me this date. March 1st. Good, March 1st. This is April 2nd. What is this date? April 2nd. Good. April 2nd. This is May 3rd. What's the date? May 3rd. May 3rd. For all of these dates, we add the TH sound. The TH sound is difficult. It sounds like this. You try. Good. For example, 4th. Fifth, sixth, and so on. Let's practice. Repeat. June fourth. June fourth. July fifth. July fifth. August sixth. August sixth. September seventh. September seventh. October 8th. October 8th. November 9th. November 9th. December 10th. December 10th. Good job, everyone. Let's try some other dates. Celia, what's this date? January 21. Good try, but for the date, we say January 21st. Class, let's try. Repeat, January 21st. January 21st. Good. Lana, what's this date? April 22nd. Yes, April 22nd. Django, what's the date? September 23rd. Yes, September 23rd. Good job, everyone. Now for the student at home, it's your turn to practice. Listen for the question, what's the date? And you answer. Ready? What's the date? January 2nd. What's the date? March 23rd. What's the date? July 4th. What's the date? October 31st. Now you ask me the question about this date. November 25th. 
Go to work. Well, now that we know about dates, let's talk about birthdays. This is me. <laughs> I was born on May 5th. My birthday is May 5th. When's my birthday? May, May 5th. 5th. Right. Let's find out about your birthdays. Here's the question. When is your birthday? You try. When is your birthday? Let's try it more naturally this time. Let's use the contraction. When's your birthday? Repeat. When's, When's your birthday? birthday? Good. Lana, ask me the question. When's your birthday? May 5th. My birthday is May 5th. When's your birthday? My birthday is August 19th. Oh, your birthday's in August. How about you, Fareed? When's your birthday? My birthday is June 8th. Oh, you have a June birthday. How about Mrs. Park? When's her birthday, Fareed? When's your birthday? My birthday is September 13th. Good, Mrs. Park. Ask somebody else. When's your birthday? My birthday is November 2nd. Excellent, Miguel. Now you ask somebody. When's your birthday? My birthday is February 21st. Oh, how exciting. You have a birthday this month. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. Ms. Marquez is teaching about ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers are used to show the order of things. Let's go to the Main Street Cafe and see an example. Who's first? I'm first. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I'm first. You are second. And I'm third. She's fourth. And I'm fifth. And last. This is ridiculous. I'm a very busy man. I am first. Just a minute. Just a minute. My name is Ryan. I'm the assistant manager. Why don't I decide? You're first. I don't care how busy you are, sir. You're second. Okay. You're third. Thank you, sir. You're fourth. I'm fifth and last. Right this way, sir. Let's go back to the classroom and study some more English. All right, class. Let's talk about addresses. This is Bob's house. His address is 3427 First Street. It's Monday, and Bob is leaving for work. This is his office. The address is 5922 4th Street. It's lunchtime, and Bob is going to the cafe. The cafe's address is 1979 3rd Street. It's six o'clock, and Bob is at the market. The market's address is 2458 4th Street. Bob is walking home. He's walking through the park. The park is at 1562 2nd Street. And finally, by 715, Bob's at home. Okay, class, do you remember Bob's address? It's 3427 First Street. Sometimes we say the address number in two parts. 3427. 3427 First Street. Django, what's Bob's address? 3427 4th Street. Good. Celia, what's the address at the cafe? 
1979 Third Street. Good. Shagrash, what's the address at the market? It's 2458 Fourth Street. That's right. You're all doing an excellent job. Let me ask you some other questions. Where's Bob? Is he at home or at work? He's, He's at, at work. work. What's his address at work? 5922 4th Street. Where's Bob now? Is he at the market or at the park? He's at the park. Okay, let's try another. Where is he? Is he at his house or at the cafe? The cafe. What's the cafe's address? 1979 Fire Street. Great job, everyone. Now let's take a look at another picture. What's this? It's school. It's school. Yes. Now tell me, am I at home? No. no. You at school. Right. I'm not at home. I'm at school. Here's Bob again. Is Bob at home? No. 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 no, he's not. He's at the park. Is Bob at home now? Yes, yes he, he is. is. Yes, he is. Is Bob at the park? No, no he's, he's not. not. He's, he's at, at the park. park. Is Bob at the park now? Yes, yes he, he is. is. How about now? Is Bob at the cafe? No, no he's, he's not. not. He's, he's at, at work. work. Is Bob at the cafe now? Yes, yes he, he is. is. Good work, class. Now it's your turn to practice. Listen and answer my questions. Is Bob at work? No, he's not. He's at home. Is Bob at work now? Yes, he is. Is Bob at the park? No, he's not. He's at the cafe. Is Bob at the park now? Yes, he is. Is Bob at the market? No, he's not. He's at home. Is Bob at the market now? Yes, he is. Good work. Okay, class. Now I want to practice phone conversations. Let's see. Django, I'm going to call you. Ready? Okay. Bring, bring. Hello? Hi, this is Ms. Marquez. Is Bob at home? No, he's not. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was easy. Thanks, Django. Jane, you try. Bring, bring. Hello? Hi, is Bob at home? No, he's not. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Bye. When you get a phone call for someone and that person is not there, you can take a message. Listen and watch. Hello? Hi, is Samantha there? No, she's not. May I take a message? Please tell her to call Ryan. What's your phone number? Five, 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 two, six, seven, eight. I'm at the cafe. Let's see. Call Ryan. Five 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 two six seven eight. That's right. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, let's look at the phone message. It has the date and it has the time. Is the message for Samantha or Ryan? Samantha. Right. The message is for Samantha. 
The message is from Ryan. Now for the student at home, turn to page three of your workbook. Listen to the phone conversation. Write the date, time, who the message is for, who the message is from, and the message and phone number. Let's begin. Hi, is Bob there? No, he's not. May I take a message? Please tell him to call Ryan. That's spelled R-Y-A-N. What's your phone number? Five, 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 two, six, seven, eight. I'm at the cafe. Can you read that back, please? Yes. Call Ryan. Five 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 two six seven eight. That's right. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Mis Marquesa students learned a lot today. Let's watch Miguel use the English he learned. Hello, Main Street Cafe. Hi. Is Ryan there? Uh, no, he's not. May I take a message? Yes. This is Samantha. That's spelled S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A. -A -A. My phone number is 555-9953. Can you read that back, please? Yes. Call Samantha 555-9953. Goodbye. Let's talk about today's lesson. You learn how to ask for and give the date. What is the date today? February 5th. You also learn how to ask for and give your birthday. When's your birthday? May 5th. My birthday is May 5th. You learn how to ask for and give the addresses of places in the community. Celia, what's the address at the cafe? 1979 3rd Street. And you also learned how to take a phone message. Is the message for Samantha or Ryan? Samantha. Good practice, everyone. Hmm, I wonder how Miguel and Jane are doing. Let's go and see. Jane. When is your birthday? You don't know? Yes. February 21st. Yes. Two more weeks. Yes. Why? Nothing. Let's practice more English. First. Second. Let's practice the months of the year. There are 12 months in a year. Listen and repeat. January. February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December.
Now, let's watch some conversations. When's your birthday? My birthday is March 2nd. When's your birthday? My birthday is September 23rd. When's your birthday? My birthday is December 31st. Now listen and answer my question. When's your birthday? Good. Now ask me the question. My birthday is May 5th. Good job, everyone. Now let's practice addresses. Look at the pictures and answer my questions. What's the address at Bob's home? 3427 First Street. What's the address at Bob's work? 5922 4th Street. What's the address at the cafe? 1979 3rd Street. What's the address at the market? 2458 4th Street. What's the address at the park? 1562 2nd Street. Good work. Practice some more and I'll see you next time.